All right, Boots, so what's the good word since the last time uh, I caught up with you? Uh, was before the Delorme fight for the PBC article. Um, and the article went well. Everybody got to understand that you're a fighter's fighter. Mm -hmm. You want to fight whoever, whenever, and that your life is in the gym 24-7. So what's been going on since that first round knockout? Uh, like you said, uh, I'm in the gym, you know, staying sharp. Uh, just waiting on the next date and, and, and you know, next opponent and what's going on. So it's about it. And afterwards, when you, you knocked him out in the first round uh, in the post fight, mm -hmm. Uh, Buddha, Buddha, I'm gonna butcher his name, but Buddha Tev, mm -hmm. he beat Jamal James. You mentioned that you would you would like the opportunity to fight him for the belt. Mm -hmm. but he got a portion of the WBA. He was quick to say uh, he wanted to fight uh, Ugas, but now with Ugas lined up with Spence, um, are you just like you said, all challengers, all comers? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, who? Uh, it don't matter who it is, but yeah, I definitely would, would take that fight with. with, with uh, Buyata, or however you say his name. Put a, put a t I think it's Buyata. Yeah, but I would definitely <laughs> take that fight with that guy. You know, we no none of us have you know a opponents right now, so I would, I would t love love to take that. You know. Yeah. So um, staying sharp. I mean, that's that's pretty much like your whole mantra, kind of like your mantra here, which mm -hmm. is that just being in the gym allows you to glide into training camp. Whereas yeah. other fighters, they gotta kind of like get their body prepped for it and then they kind of have some bad days in the beginning of the training camp I mean how do you feel that that's allowed you to prepare for just even the other what was it two fights ago where you had a, a last-minute replacement so I mean how does that the variety and versatility of fighting different fighters at all times uh, I mean 365 how does that help you well standing in the gym helping you stay sharp and you know you know, better, better your skills and better your craft. That's what you're here for. So I'm here, you know, better my craft, my skills, and you know, try to take my, you know, my skills to the next level. And and even though, even if I do get an opponent last minute, that doesn't bother me because we have a million different one styles in here, and stuff like that don't bother me at all anyway. <laughs> right, right. So eventually, at some point, one of these guys is gonna have to fight you mm -hmm. for the title. Um, when you do get a, a strap at 147, we've talked in the past about your plans, what you want to do, but why don't you explain a little bit? Uh, I just spoke to uh, Steph about this, about um, the difference between a business fighter and a fighter's fighter. Of course, there's business that's involved in all of it. Uh, you like to stay out of that and let your, your father, and Cameron Duncan, and everybody else involved in your career do that um, and just focus on fighting. Mm -hmm. But once that time comes, are you gonna be, do you feel as though you're gonna be the type of fighter that's gonna be willing to give all comers a shot? I mean, we saw even somebody like Blair Cobb who doesn't really have that much of a name. Come on, I'm just saying, bro, he doesn't have that much of a name yet. He's trying to make flashes the way he could so he uh, could get, get I mean, the fights. Yeah, he's just trying, but, trying I mean, to get his name up, that's all. Yeah, but fighters, 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 like even Pacquiao, you know, in between some of his mega fights, he would have to fight the David Diaz's of the world, and he didn't shy away from doing that. Mm -hmm. Miguel Cotto against Austin Trout, that kind of thing. Are you going to be willing to do that as well? Uh, most definitely. Once I get one of those belts, you know, the whole goal at the end of the day is to, you know, bring the old school fighting back. And that's what I'm all about. So my whole goal is to, you know, grab one belt and then grab all the belts and then unify and, and become undisputed and then, you know, do the same thing in the next week. So right. that's, my, that's but, my ultimate goal. Right, but so, I mean, are you gonna, like from 147, you get all four belts, mm -hmm. right? The next logical step would be 54, yeah. right? Um, but in the meantime, if something doesn't happen at 54, would you be willing to stick around like a Josh Taylor's doing right now? I mean, he's kind of was hoping for a Terrence Crawford at 47 before mm -hmm. he moved up from 40, but now he's going to at least defend the strap against yeah, one I, of the mandatories. I, I would do so, that. yeah, because a lot of guys like to say, well, it's not business wise, you know, low risk, high reward. It, those type of things, what I'm getting at, those type of things don't really like compete with you, right? No, just, it don't matter who it is. I, I'll fight anybody. I, you can put the hawk in there. I don't care who it is. Ah. So it's. That's the difference between me and these other guys. I'll fight anybody put in front of me, and I'm, I'm going to beat them. All right, man. So uh, when should we look forward to uh, seeing you back in that ring? Um, the I world should, wants to know, man. Uh, I, mean, I, should, I should be back. You're man. beyond prospect, everybody. Yeah. You got the Ring Magazine prospect. You know, you, yeah. you won how many Briscoe Awards? You're getting another one. Uh, right. So now I, it's, it's kind of that time where the world is starting to starting to buzz more also as far as, as the, next, the next major step for you. Yeah, I, sh I should be back in April though. Uh, sometime in April, I'm just waiting on a date, and uh, hopefully we get the date this week, and I can post everything on social media and 
you know, and let you guys know what's really going on and who I'm fighting, where, when, and so you guys can come out and support. All right, man. Oh, and uh, last thing, um, it just popped into my mind. We've talked about this before also. Um, you kind of like going back to gliding into training camp mm -hmm. and being sharp all the time. Um, fight night. Does that is that one of the reasons why you told me that you felt that you haven't really even kicked it into like fifth or sixth gear, even during during the actual fight as it's happening? Because a lot of fans, one of the things they will, they say is yeah, boots, but one who has he really fought, and that's starting to go away with the names that you're starting to um, take on and beat. But then the other thing is we haven't really seen him tested. Yeah. I like to say, well, that's because a lot of these guys are quizzes, and he's needing the final exam against the elite guys, right? Right. That's how I like to put it, but I mean, you've said you haven't really kicked into that sixth gear. Are you like, is that something that you're itching for, or uh, if it happens, it happens? I mean, and you'll surprise even yourself, or are you I mean, I, like I always say, I feel like the better my opponent, the better I'm gonna be. And then, like I said before, if I fight these guys, these top guys, and and I beat them easy, uh, I don't want y'all to be surprised because I, it, I've been doing this stuff all my life, and I really. This is where I would really love, and it's not for the money for me. I, I'm in here every day, I'm working hard, and you know, trying to take my, my craft to the next level. So it, that's the difference between me and these other guys. Thank you so much for watching this video, and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV, and give us a follow online as well, at Fight Up TV, on Twitter, and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.